Hi everyone, welcome back for another art journal video. Hope you are doing great and staying safe. So today, um, my theme is music because I had this decoupage paper in my stash and I wanted to use it. As you can see, it has been uh, glued from one side and I'm using matte medium to glue it on the left hand side. Uh, sometimes having these decoupage paper helps a lot because uh, it gives you a creative idea on how you can put more s more uh, stuff on the page and uh, how you can uh, use the color combination as per your creativity. So once uh, the matte medium is dried, I am moving on to putting up some crackle paste on the page uh, using this musical stencil. This is Craftangle stencil and I don't have any name but I'm calling it musical stencil. I put the crackle paste on three sides and waited uh, for it to dry naturally and as you can see in the details there are some really fine cracks on this musical notes texture and once that is done uh, I am going to uh, put some metallic paints on top of it yeah I feel like <laughs> I need to add some metallic because uh, been not using the metallic paints for a while and I really wanted uh, an excuse to put them in my art journal so what I'm doing is I'm just uh, using the acrylic paint watering it down and then spraying the water after I apply it on top of the texture paste so that uh, the texture can be seen and uh, the reason I'm making it more watery is because uh, I want uh, the color to go inside the crackles even though they are small and not that uh, uh, evident on the screen I know they are there and I can see it from my eyes so I want uh, the metallic paint to go inside the cracks And I simply love how the whole page changes when you put colors on the texture paste or metallic paste, sorry, on the crackle paste, any kind of paste. Uh, once that is done, I felt that uh, because the background had some uh, brown or sepia tones, I thought, okay, uh, let's put some tapia, sepia tones and uh, the blue color was a little bit on the bright side than I what I wanted so I watered down the acrylic paint first put some splatters and then again watered down the acrylic paints and dirtied up the metallics dirtying dirty up the metallic paints with it Now the page looks uh, more uh, together, more complete. Okay, now the speckle splatters and the metallic paints is all dried and it's time for to add the coat. Uh, I used uh, copper plate calligraphy to write down the coat. First I wanted to use the whole coat uh, in my calligraphy but then because the theme is music, I thought that uh, the music part from the quote should be in focus. So that's what I'm doing. I'm using Tim Holtz uh, cargo stencil and uh, using black soot distress ink to write music from it. And I'm using a very detailed, very precise mini makeup brush for that. Once uh, that is done, I'm just uh, distressing the edges of the coat uh, handwritten by me 
and uh, then I will use a uh, sponge sorry foam foam tape to uh, glue it down on the page and uh, after doing the video and taking the photographs I realized that uh, I have <laughs> miss uh, place the last part uh, it has to be in the middle so I corrected it later and you will see it once I'll do the flip through of this art journal <laughs> so that's it guys uh, that's what I've done I used the rusty hinge for distressing the page edge uh, the originals edges and that uh, brings the whole page to the center and if you can see in the close-up all those crackles in the in the musical notes looks very nice it makes uh, it very vintagey and I really loved how this uh, quick and super easy page turned out some and uh, yeah that's all for today hope you like the page and if you do like the page do give it a thumbs up and subscribe and please do share with friends and support the channel i'll see you in the next video bye for now Thank you.